Guru Angad, the 31st of March 1504 to the 29th of March 1552, was the second of the ten Sikh gurus. He was born in a Hindu family, with the birth name as Lena, in the village of Harak now Naga, near Muktsar in northwest Indian subcontinent. Bai Lena grew up in a Khatri family, his father was a small-scale trader, he himself worked as a pujari priest and religious teacher centered around goddess Durga. He met Guru Nanak, the founder of Sikhism, and became a Sikh. He served and worked with Guru Nanak for many years. Guru Nanak gave Bai Lena the name Angad my own limb, chose Angad as the second Sikh Guru instead of his own sons. After the death of Guru Nanak in 1539, Guru Angad led the Sikh tradition. He is remembered in Sikhism for adopting and formalizing the Gurmukhi alphabet from pre-existing Indo-European scripts such as the Tankar of the Himalayan region. He began the process of collecting the hymns of Nanak, contributed 62 or 63 hymns of his own. Instead of his own son, he chose a Vaishnava Hindu Amar Das as his successor and the third guru of Sikhism. Biography Guru Angad was born in a village, with birth name of Lena, to Hindu parents living in northwestern part of the Indian subcontinent called the Punjab region. He was the son of a small but successful trader named Feru Mal. His mother's name was Mata Ramo, also known as Mata Sabarai, Mansa Devi and Daya Kaur. Like all the Sikh gurus, Lena came from Khatri caste. At age 16, Angad married a Khatri girl named Mata Kivi in January 1520. They had two sons, Dasa and Datu, and one or two daughters, Amro and Anoki, depending on the primary sources. The entire family of his father had left their ancestral village in fear of the invasion of Babar's armies. After this the family settled at Qadr Sahib, a village by the river Bees near what is now Tarn Taran. Before becoming a Sikh and his renaming as Angad, Lena was a religious teacher and priest who performed services focused on Durga Devi Shaktism, the goddess tradition of Hinduism. Bhai Lena in his late twenties sought out Guru Nanak, became his disciple, and displayed deep and loyal service to his guru for about six to seven years in Kartarpur. Topic. Selection as successor Several stories in the Sikh tradition describe reasons why Bhai Lena was chosen by Guru Nanak over his own sons as his successor. One of these stories is about a jug which fell into mud, and Guru Nanak asked his sons to pick it up. Guru Nanak's sons would not pick it up because it was dirty or menial a task. Then he asked Bhai Lena, who however picked it out of the mud, washed it clean, and presented it to Guru Nanak full of water. Guru Nanak touched him and renamed him Angad from Ang, or part of the body, and named him as his successor and the second Nanak on 13 June 1539. After the death of Guru Nanak on of September 1539, Guru Angad left Kartarpur for the village of Qadr Sahib near Goindwal Sahib. This move may have been suggested by Guru Nanak, as the succession to Gurgadi seat of Guru by Guru Angad was disputed and claimed by the two sons of Guru Nanak, Sri Chand and Lakmi Das. Post-succession, at one point, very few Sikhs accepted Guru Angad as their leader and while the sons of Guru Nanak claimed to be the successors. Guru Angad focused on the teachings of Nanak, and building the community through charitable works such as Langar. Relationship with the Mughal Empire The second Mughal emperor of India Humayun visited Guru Angad at around 1540 after Humayun lost the Battle of Kanauj, and thereby the Mughal throne to Sher Shah Suri. According to Sikh hagiographies, when Humayun arrived in Gurdwara Mal Akara Sahib at Qadr Sahib Guru Angad was sitting and listening to hymns of the Sangat. The failure to greet the emperor immediately angered Humayun. Humayun lashed out but the guru reminded him that the time when you needed to fight when you lost your throne you ran away and did not fight and now you want to attack a person engaged in prayer. In the Sikh texts written more than a century after the event, Guru Angad is said to have blessed the emperor, and reassured him that someday he will regain the throne. <laughs> Death and successor Before his death, Guru Angad, following the example set by Guru Nanak, nominated Guru Amar Das as his successor the third Nanak. 
Before he converted to Sikhism, Amar Das had been a religious Hindu Vaishnava, Vishnu focused, reputed to have gone on some twenty pilgrimages into the Himalayas, to Haridwar on River Ganges. About 1539, on one such Hindu pilgrimage, he met a Hindu monk sadhu who asked him why he did not have a guru teacher, spiritual counselor, and Amar Das decided to get one. On his return, he heard Bibi Amro, the daughter of the Guru Angad who had married into a Hindu family, singing a hymn by Guru Nanak. Amar Das learned from her about Guru Angad, and with her help met the second guru of Sikhism in 1539, and adopted Guru Angad as his spiritual guru who was much younger than his own age. Amar Das displayed relentless devotion and service to Guru Angad. Sikh tradition states that he woke up in the early hours to fetch water for Guru Angad's bath, cleaned and cooked for the volunteers with the guru, as well devoted much time to meditation and prayers in the morning and evening. Guru Angad named Amar Das as his successor in 1552, instead of naming his surviving son Sri Chand. Guru Angad died on 29 March 1552. Influence Gurmukhi script Guru Angad is credited in the Sikh tradition with the Gurmukhi script, which is now the standard writing script for Punjabi language in India, in contrast to Punjabi language in Pakistan where now an Arabic script called Nastalik is the standard. The original Sikh scriptures and most of the historic Sikh literature have been written in the Gurmukhi script. Guru Angad's script modified the pre existing Indo European scripts in northern parts of the Indian subcontinent. The script may have already been developing before the time of Guru Angad, because there is evidence that at least one hymn was written in acrostic form by Guru Nanak, which state Kol and Sambi gives proof that the alphabet already existed. Guru Angad started the tradition of Mal Akara, wrestling, where physical as well as spiritual exercises were held. He also wrote 62 or 63 salaks compositions, which together constitute about 1% of the Guru Granth Sahib, the primary scripture of Sikhism. Topic. Langar and community work Guru Angad is notable for systematizing the institution of Langar in all Sikh temple premises, where visitors from near and far, could get a free simple meal in a communal seating. He also set rules and training method for volunteers savaders, who operated the kitchen, placing emphasis on treating it as a place of rest and refuge, being always polite and hospitable to all visitors. Guru Angad visited other places and centers established by Guru Nanak for the preaching of Sikhism. He established new centers and thus strengthened its base. <laughs> Mal Akahara The Guru, being a great patron of wrestling, started a Mal Akara wrestling arena system where physical exercises, martial arts, and wrestling was taught as well as health topics such as staying away from tobacco and other toxic substances. He placed emphasis on keeping the body healthy and exercising daily. He founded many such Mal Akaras in many villages including a few in Condor. Typically the wrestling was done after daily prayers and also included games and light wrestling. See also Guru Granth Sahib List of places named after Guru Angad Dev